Welcome to Lori Book Trials Weekly Vlog. Hi everybody, Lori here. So, so far, only two books I'm really reading right now, but I'm going to get ready to read some more books later. Is, um, still reading Thunder, I mean, Scythe. And I just read through chapter 13, so I will be starting chapter 14. I don't know if I'm going to read any more tonight. We shall see. I would like to read like maybe one more chapter tonight. Maybe two more chapters and then put it down for the night. But I'm really enjoying it, of course. You guys know this is my favorite series so far. Well, one of my favorite series. It's not my absolute favorite series. Right now, I would tell you my favorite series is Harry Potter, of course, that, that I've finished. Then, um, the Great Library series by, um, Rachel Kane. And then, these are just what I completed, not, not, you know, not all together. Just the, the ones that I completed and... The Throne of Glass series. Those are my three right now that are my absolute favorite that I finished. And then the Snow Like Ashes one I really liked a lot. That's probably my fourth. So if you had to count four, those are probably my four favorites that I finished. But if, um, if Toll is as good as I'm expecting it and hoping it's going to be, then... This will probably bump all of them down one. Even Harry Potter. Even Harry Potter, you guys. So. So good. I'm not really going to tell you what's going down because I don't want to spoil anybody that's planning on ever reading it. But I know my girls have finished it and they both loved it. So, yay! So, I'm excited about that. So I'm, I wouldn't be spoiled on them, but if anybody else has ever planned on reading it, then I would, that are on my, you know, in my group, on in my channel, you know, my subscribers, then I don't want to ruin it for you guys. So I will just say, oh my gosh, crap is going down. Well, I can tell you now because you guys already know that that will, only one is going to wind up being a, a scythe, and the other one has the one that's that becomes the scythe apprentice. Apprentice. They're not a scythe yet. They're apprentice of the scythe. The other one, the one that that wins, is a, has to kill the other one. So we're getting to the nitty gritty where that where they find out because they don't know yet that they still think the other one's going to be going home. Which isn't a spoiler because at first that's what they think at the beginning of the book, and it's not a spoiler because it tells you almost right away. And it's not a spoiler the rest because it's in the blurb or whatever you want to say. But yes, it, stuff is really going to start going down now. So, yeah. And then, I'm also reading The Chain. I'm only on page 30, I believe. No, not 30, I'm past 30. I'm on 68, chapter 16. Wow. This book is... I already mentioned what it's about when I was talking about books that I'm planning on reading this weekend. Video. But I'll say again, it's about this woman that gets a call. Her It starts off, it's not a spoiler because it's the beginning. It starts off with her um, daughter. I forget what her daughter's name is. But she's sitting on the... Um, she's either on the... I can't remember if she's on the school bus or if she's waiting for the school bus. And she gets kidnapped. And then the mother gets a call, and they said, I kidnapped your daughter and all this stuff. You got to, this is what you got to do. You got to do this, and then this step, and this step. And then, so in other words, she had to pay a certain amount of money. Then she had to buy a gun, and then she has to figure out who she's going to kidnap. Because what happens is... The one that did the kidnapping was because her son was was kidnapped. So she don't get her son back until she kidnaps somebody. And then once that somebody kidnaps, 
a child, pays a ransom and kidnaps a child, then they, then her son will get released. And then the next person, which is, um, what's her name? I always forget the main lady's name. Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. Once Rachel pays the ransom, kidnaps the child, and then tells that parent to do the steps. And once that parent does those steps, as long as nothing goes wrong, then she'll get her daughter back. But the next, the one that she kidnaps, that child won't get brought back until that lady does the next thing, and so on. So forth hers. So, yeah. Very, very, very wow. But yes, it is good. So, I'm enjoying both of these. But I don't know if I'm going to, if, if I don't fall asleep, I'm going to start, I'm going to read some more of these tonight. But I think I'm going to try to read some of the girl in the steel corset. I'm going to read the, what is it called? The Provo, I mean the, the Nav, Navuel Pro, Pro, Pre, Prequel, yeah, first, because that's how it works, and yeah, I don't know if it's supernatural, I'm not sure, I don't know what it's, um, if it, what the category is considered, but I might try to read a little bit of that tonight, oh, um, I got my, um, coffee cup. Don't you guys love this? So neat. Anyways, um, drinking the, um, Fruit Loop one that I got from Bones Coffee the other day. It's pretty good. I had the, I forgot to show it to you guys yesterday and mentioned it, but yesterday I had the chocolate raspberry. Oh my gosh, you guys. That chocolate raspberry was so freaking good. I mean, you can really taste the raw raspberry. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I would have made that today, but my creamer that I that is real good for that one, which is Caf Mocha or something like that. I know it's a Walmart brand, but I think it's Caf Mocha and it's the cold one. But anyways, it is almost gone. I only have like a drop left, so I'm not going to drink any more of the chocolate one until I get that. This one is the electric um, unicorn, which is the one that tastes like Fruit Loops. This one is better with the um, French vanilla creamer. But since I had like a like a tiny bit of my cream left, I put a little bit of my creamer in it with the French vanilla. I can kind of taste the hint a little bit of the fruit Fruit Loops or fruit fruit. Fruity pebbles, whatever you want to say, but not too much. It's not bad, though. So far, my favorites are definitely the chocolate orange and the chocolate raspberry. The raspberry, I think, is actually I like better than the orange one. Just by a smidge. This one isn't bad. I tried a sip of the, because my son had the gooseberry, because that's what I bought it for. I tried a sip of it. Didn't really care for it. I think it depends on what creamer you find for it. But I'm going to let you guys go because this is already almost nine minutes. So I will talk to you guys if I read any more books tonight. Bye. Bye. Or talk to you later, whichever. Come, whichever. Bye. Good evening. It is almost bedtime. I have, I have read some more in size, but I left it out in my book room. So I'm not exactly sure what chapter I am on. Um, I'm thinking it's like 15, 16, one of the two. Chapter 15 or chapter 16, I'm on. Uh, I did, I haven't started yet in this, but I plan on starting some of this one tonight. Or tomorrow, because I'm kind of tired, so I might go to bed after I do this intro. But I might try to read, like, maybe a chapter, just to see how, what's going on. And in the chain... This is so good, you guys. So creepy, though. This, I'm on page 67. Yes. So, in case you guys, I know I mentioned this when I did my, what I'm planning on reading this weekend vlog. I did mention what this was about. 
so yeah it's really creepy can you imagine having to kidnap someone's kid to get your child back this i guess this wouldn't be considered spoiled because it happens in the first chapter yeah yeah so the girl gets she's waiting at the bus stop or she's on the bus can't remember but anyways she gets kidnapped and they get pulled over because the lady's so nervous and then the lady winds up either the lady or her husband because i think yeah winds up killing the cop and then the next chapter starts with the mother getting the call saying her daughter was kidnapped and all the rules about the chain and oh my gosh you guys spoiler for this for a minute so if you don't want to be spoiled then don't watch this clip please but yeah um she's trying to like get the money and stuff like that and i think she was in front of the the loan i mean the bank getting ready to go in and this guy was like are you this or something like that and all that stuff and he's one of the guys that was involved in the chain because of, you know, his kids. And even though it's over for him, you know, like where he got his kid back and stuff, he has to deliver her a message. And basically he asks her, do you, are you pregnant? And she said, of course she said no. And he punched her in the belly because he had to like send that message. So it seems like even if you get, like, you do what they say and stuff and you get the kid back, you never actually leave the chain. So, it's, wow. Very intense, you guys. Okay, enough on spoilers. Um, yeah, it was really interesting. So, um, I don't know, like I said, I doubt if I'm gonna, uh, I don't think I'm going to, you know, talk to you guys anymore tonight. Because I'm tired. I think I'm going to try to get some sleep. And I will try to read some more of the books tomorrow. And get back to you then. But I love you guys. And I'll talk as a friend. And I will talk to you guys later. Hi everybody. Sorry I don't have my glasses on. But it's so hard for me to have my glasses on. In my bedroom for some reason. But uh, I started reading. Last or this morning. Or last night. The little pre prequel that's in here. Before the actual one starts. Uh, the the um the main book of course is the girl is still Chrisette, but the bonus um book is called the strange case of Finley Jane, or something like that. So, and I didn't get too far. I'm only on page. I don't have my glasses on, so I got to get it real super close. Thirty two. So far, the 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 girl, Finlin Finley. She got fired from this one lady because she um, she saw this other girl, this one lady, like, slapping the, um, she's like a governess or something, or works for something like that. And she um, saw this um, lady hit this um, little boy. And instead of the, the woman that hit the little boy get fired, she got fired. You'd think the mother would be? What you called that? That his that her little that she was trying to defend the little boy, but anyways, and then um. She goes home to her mom and her stepdad, and then, for a few days, and then this lady comes and she wants her to be a governess or a companion to her daughter, so of course her daughter is, the same basically, I don't know if she's the exact same age or almost the same age as. The main girl and she's getting married so i guess she just wants her to be you know be around why uh you know to be friends with you know just for her daughter could have friendship that's the uh, far as i got so nothing like crazy has happened yet but we shall see we shall see but yeah i just wanted to give you an update this fine saturday morning i think it's like eight something or nine i can't remember Somewhere around that area. But yeah, I just wanted to say good morning. And when I have something else read, I will get back to you. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys all 
later. Hi, everybody. I did not do any reading. It is almost midnight. still Saturday, but it's like a minute till... Ten, a minute... No, I'm sorry. It's ten min, 11 minutes till midnight. <laughs> sorry about the phone falling. You guys know I'm having issues with that stupid tripod now. There we go, I think. <laughs> but I did not read anything. A uh, little spoiler, if you're getting the Alcrate and haven't got it yet. So, hold on a second. Alright, if you don't want to be spoiled and you're expecting the Alcrate, then don't watch. Alright, so. I didn't really read anything out of my main books, but we got this little sampler. It's called The Beautiful by um, Renee Adier, however you say her last name. So I did manage to read the sampler that we got from Owl Crate, and it was 36 pages, I believe, I think I said. Yeah, 36 pages. So it seems kind of interesting. Um, nothing super major happened. Since it happened right away, I can say that there was one death, one murder pretty soon. I mean, like, during this little sampler. And and I can also say, because it's not a spoiler, because she talks about, she mentions it right away, that the main character left because she killed somebody. I don't know why she killed the person. I don't know if she was being attacked or what. I just know that she, those are the two things that's going on so far that was mentioned Nothing else e much. Nothing else happened, I should say. Um, what else could I say about it? Just seems like it'd be like good for either, um, either for Halloween or for November. You know, like the darker kind of the months. Like, yeah, just seems like like that type of the of a read, like October November type of feel to it. So. Yeah, um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's, that's all I did. I just, that's all I did. I just wasn't really in the mood to read, but I wanted to see what this was going to be like. And I love when Owl Craig gives you little samplers like this. I can't wait for it to come out October 8th. Yeah, October 8th, it tells you right there. Yeah, so, thumbs up on that. I think it's going to be cute. Not cute. I think it's going to be interesting. I don't think it's going to be my favorite. Favorite. Um, book ever. But yeah. Here's a little thing for it. I don't know if I showed you on. If you watched my unboxing. I don't know if I showed you. Told you what it was about. I can't remember because I'm tired. And then there's the little note from the author. And like I said. Here's the front. Here's the back, in case I didn't show it to you during the All Crate unboxing. That is it. I am going to go brush my teeth and go to bed. Maybe tomorrow I'll get some reading in, but I doubt it. I'm just not really in a reading mood right now, so hopefully I'll get some reading done by at least finish one of these books that I'm reading by Wednesday. We'll see. I'm not going to force myself to read if I'm not, you know in the mood to read, but hopefully tomorrow or Monday I'll be more in the mood. But I'm going to let you guys go for I can get some sleep and I will catch you guys all later. Hello everybody, it is Sunday around 8.30 in the morning. Um, I did read a couple more pages in this last night, so now I'm on chapter 6, page 60. Since this is like a, just like a little short story before the actual, you know, like the pre-story, it's really short and nothing's like, nothing major has happened, but I'm almost done with this, um, the little prequel story, and then I will actually start the official book, which starts on page, page, um, 105. All this is nothing here. The first couple pages of nothing, and then it has the, what, the first, um, and then it just says the girl in the still corset, and then just chapter one, so <laughs> that's it, so there's nothing there. 
but this the the little short story or the prequel has 98 pages and like I said I'm on 60 and nothing really major has happened one spoiler and I'll say in just a second in case you plan on ever reading the prequel okay all right everybody that don't want to be spoiled should be gone skip ahead just a tiny bit but um like like I said she's the companion for the one girl that's supposed to get married and the guy that she's supposed she's in love with somebody else but she can't marry him and the guy she's supposed to be marrying is like two, twice her age two, twice her age and something like that whatever you want to say and anyways um Finland Finley Finland wants to make sure that he doesn't have um any type of designs you know any bad designs or whatever you want to call towards the girl so she snuck into his house while he was there and she was looking inside and he must be like a mad scientist or something because he was he had like a what was it was a body I forgot what she said it was was it a body or a human brain he had a human brain in his little lab or little special room and yeah that's what how, where I in in that so Something's going on with that man. So, in a spoiler. So, yes. Um, that's all that happened, really. That was exciting. So now I gotta find out what the heck is going on with this guy. I still don't know what she has inside her. She says something like she has, like a. She has something. Uh, what you call? It? I don't know what the word was. It just says she has something inside her. Let me try. Let me see. Some kind of magical darkness inside of her. And she don't know what it is, but it comes out at certain times. Mostly like when the person is, like when someone else is in trouble. Like, um, spoiler again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, wait a couple seconds. You guys know the drill. All right, everybody should be gone that don't want to be spoiled again. She thought that, um... She heard um, uh, the one that she's, um, that she's, um, you know, that she's a companionship for, companion for. She saw her saying so, no, and she thought that the guy was trying to hurt her, and that's when she found out that, that no, that it was, that they were fault, that, that it was the one that she was actually in love with, her, what you call it, but, at first, she was going to hurt him because she thought that he was trying to hurt her. I mean, you know, hurt her companion. So, but that is it. Okay, I'm going to go, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Mwah. Hi, everybody. It's about 7.20, 7.25, somewhere around there on Sunday still. Um, we went out today. We, we didn't go to church because Rob was really tired when he got home from, you know, being on the truck for those few days so um he slept for a little bit and then we went and picked up well he went and picked up robin's cake and then we went to um the mall i didn't get nothing because i'm trying to be good and i also i bought um the uh queen of nothing or whatever it's called the the final book in the um the uh curl print series but anyways i got um the last one from owl crate so that was a little expensive so i was like i'm not buying anything else and i was a good girl and i didn't even buy anything else but that was an experience trying to get on to owl crate to get that box i never had that much problem with the um first two boxes this one man jeez and then um it took for uh, forever I didn't think I was going to get it and then I finally got it and then so many other people still were having trouble getting it and I felt so bad for them because I finally got one and they couldn't get they couldn't get it to work for them and then they sold out really quick so yeah but anyways enough of that I finished the um first little bit you know the bonus book which was a strange case of Finley Jane, or however you say it. It was 
so, so. I don't like, like, little books that are only, like, 90-something pages. Because just when I'm starting to, like, really enjoy the plot, and get into it, and like the characters, then it's over. So, I gave it two and a half because the plot was okay. And I like, I was liking the characters at the end. But it would have got higher, probably, if it would have been a bigger book. You know what I mean? Like a longer book. But... The other one's going to be a little bit longer, the actual story, which is The Girl in the Steel Corset. So, yeah. But two and a half for the first one. But I'm not sure. Now, if I don't finish The Girl in the Steel Corset, corset by the, before the first, do I still count the little short story? I think I should, right? Because I did finish the short, short story, so I think so. So I'm going to count that I finished that one. So yeah, it was a two and a half. Not a bad book, just needed to be longer. For I could have enjoyed it more. <laughs> but anyways, now I don't know what I'm going to read. I don't know if I'm going to continue the next one or save that for next month. We'll see. Cause it kind of seems like it's going to be a good book for next month for, you know, during the spooky seasons. But yeah. So, I don't know what I'm reading next. I know I'm supposed to read Scythe, but I think I'm going to hold off on the rest of Scythe until Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I'll start reading again. Um, well, so, I don't know. Never night, I really don't want to start until the evening. The Chain, I kind of want to wait and read it next month instead of this month. So, I'm thinking about maybe I'm looking right at it, lock every door maybe. Or Turn the Key or whatever it is by Ruth Ware. Maybe one of those two. Or there's another one that looked like uh, that I wanted to try to read. But I can't remember right now. Oh, Gideon the Ninth. So I don't know. But once I decide, and if it's tonight, I'll update you tonight. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. It's only a day away. Okay, you guys don't want to hear me sing. But anyways, yes. But if I, actually, even if I don't read anymore tonight, I'll probably come on in a few minutes and just close this off since it's the weekend vlog, basically. Or I might just, like, if I do, or if I decide I'm going to read something, get into it, then I might just, in the morning, update you on what I read and then make the, and then get the everything to go live after that we shall see so it'll be either up late tonight or sometime tomorrow so bye for right now hi everybody it's about two something i think on monday morning i didn't read anything i fell asleep on the the um my um recliner out of my book now so i didn't read anything because i passed out while I was watching some YouTube videos. Oh, I did try to read a chat. I did read a chapter of Lock Every Door? Lock, lock Every Key? key. I forget what it's called. The Riley Sager or Sagar, or however you say his last name. Book, the newest one. Lock Every Door? Lock Every Key? Key? Key. I forget what it's called. But anyways, I did read a chapter in that, but I decided I wanted to save it for next month. This seem a little strange what I read so far. Like, I don't know why the girl is like trusting this so much. Like I'm not gonna go into what they told her and everything and how much money she was gonna get, but yeah. I would have been like really asking a lot more questions with what this girl did. And the beginning was kinda interesting. But yeah. I'll go in more detail when when I read that next month. But I just want to update you before I went to bed and let you know I didn't read anything else. I am going to get these clips where they will all combine together. And then in the morning, I will put it on, to, I mean, label it and get it where it'll go for you guys when I wake up. For, I don't know how long it'll take to get up, but yeah. Whenever it gets up there, you guys will see it. And I will start a fresh bra blog vlog if I could talk sometime tomorrow night